this is what makes the energy so solar panels so magical. This connection, which goes through here, goes under there, is my connection to the Kodiak. And the Kodiak gets 400 watts of energy, just like that. This is the Kodiak. There's its display. And there's its light, the little blue light, connected to the 400 watts array. And there's the ABC switch. And <sighs> off. Off. And the screen on the Kodiak is black. The blue light, although you can't see because of the reflections of the sun, but the blue, blue light is off. That's the blue light on. That's the blue light off. So the codec is off. I can safely connect the apex to my 400 watt solar array. The magical aspect of the energy solar panels is that on the other side, on the other side of my 400 watts of solar is another connector. Okay? Just waiting for my apex. Now I'll say it again. Never ever connect either a Kodiak or apex to two power sources. If I should be dumb enough to plug the apex into here and still have the Kodiak connected to the solar panels, I violated a rule. And whatever consequences I have to pay, those consequences I have to pay. But so you don't ever put the Kodiak and Apex on the same solar panel grid at the same time, or the solar array. So I went ahead and I bought this special cable extra okay and it's going to connect it's going to connect into this and this is going to connect into the apex solar generator that's all there's to it okay. slide in match the groove turn it hit the click and you're done split second and that's going to go into the Apex solar generator. So the Apex has one connected that's a complete circle and one connected that has some circle and then a flat section. And that's the way I'm going to have to put in the plug with the flat section to the flat section. No mistake. Impossible to do a mistake with this connection. I have the solar connector connected to to the apex and the blue light's not coming on. And I gotta kinda play with it. And it kinda comes on, comes off. So I can make it stick, but it's it's really loose. I could not attach my cable by any way. And uh, this this contact looks like it's a bit out. Maybe this one is a bit out. So uh, the question is, uh, can I get permission to take him in a little bit in? To reduce the to reduce their diameter a little bit, so kind of let me know. I cannot get the cable on anymore. And to answer your other question, this is the only cable I got. The old solar panel to the new, and 
this looks like it's machined beautifully. There doesn't seem to be any any visual aspect of a problem with this end. So when So let me know uh, if I can move those. Energy gave me a return authorization number. They gave me a text to ship it back from the shipper from FedEx. But um, I decided I'm just going to take a tool and I bend the pins in and it worked perfectly. So that's how I took care of it and it's doing great.